Hi children, Antoinette here. I am so pleased that you've come to join me today in learning how to draw. Now, last week we were talking about the family of God coming together is the church. And I've been taught that you've been talking about the lost sheep. Now, when Jesus taught the parable of the lost sheep, he talked about the farmer losing one of his sheep and he left the 99 to go off and look for his sheep. And when he found it and brought it back, he was so grateful and so full of joy that he gathered people around and said, let's rejoice. Let's be glad I have found my sheep. Let's have a party. So I thought we could draw our sheep in the middle of our paper today and then have a bunty and balloons and, and sparklies as if we're having a party because we're so grateful that the farmer found his sheep. And it's a bit like Jesus. He found us and he just wants a party because he's so excited that we are part of his family and he found us and he's brought us into his family. How exciting. So let's start drawing. Now at any time you can stop the video and gather your pieces together. Pencil, some of your coloured crayons or, or markers or whatever you've got in your colour box and you choose what colour you'd like to colour in your sheep today. I think I'm going to have a sheep that has maybe blue spots or something like that. So let's start it. Here we go. Starting in the middle of our page, a little bit further at the top, we will draw like a, a triangle shape, a line across, a line down and meet that just to have a little line across at the bottom and then meet that line back up to the first line. That's the face of the sheep. Now, on one side, at the top right hand side of your line, we're going to do an ear. So we're going to go round and then back round again. That's one ear. And then on the other side, the same around and then back round again. That's his other ear. And he has two eyes. So let's draw two eyes. So one eye, two eyes, and a nose. Let's draw around like that. A nose. Now for his woolly hair, we could draw curls for his woolly hair. And then all the way around the outside of his face, we can do bumps, bump, 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 and then two bumps at the bottom. And then for his legs, we'll draw one line down and another line down. And then back to the first one, a little line all the way matching the other side and then another line on the other side. And there we have our sheep. Now, we're colouring the sheep in a minute, but I would like to do some balloons and bunting. So on the left hand side, we're going to do a line all the way down like that. And then triangles. along the line, line down and a line up, line down and a line up, and then on the other side, all the way down, from top to the side, that's your line, and we're, doing, we're going to do another bunty, like a triangle shape, onto the line. Because we're celebrating that the farmer found his sheep and he's welcomed back into his flock, his family, just like Jesus does with us. Now, I think I'm going to have to draw some grass, zigzag. We're doing lots of 
triangle shapes today, but in different um, positions. And then I think I'm going to do a balloon. So I'm going to draw a, like an oval shaped balloon and a triangle at the bottom and another oval shaped balloon and a triangle at the bottom and then a line going like that and a line going like that and maybe one other big balloon or an oval shape and then a little triangle at the bottom and then another zigzag line. Now, are we ready to colour in? Now You can use lots of colours for your uh, sheep and your balloons and your bunting and the grass. Now, we know a sheep, uh, the main colour for a sheep is creamy or white fluffy hair and a little black nose. But today, I think I am going to colour in the outline in black and then curly hair and then his ear and, another, and his other ear and then a line down and around and back up again and his nose let's color that in black and his two little eyes and then his legs, I think I'll colour those in black as well. Now, we can only see two legs because he's facing forward into the picture. But this time I think I'm going to use a purple crayon and I'm going to give my lost sheep polka dots. Dotted all around my sheep oh i think he looks very happy and i think i will do the buntings a red color and a blue and a green and yellow and I think I'll do the same the other side but I'll mix the colours up I'm going to do yellow first and blue and red and green and I think I'll do a green balloon Colour it in green and a red balloon and a blue balloon. Now, it looks like our sheep is having such fun. He's having a party. Oh, not forgetting the grass. We'll colour that in green. And there you have it, the lost sheep that was found. Now, children, next week I would like you to gather up some materials so you can make a card for Father's Day. And the card is called I Love You This Much card. And you will need some paper so I'm going to show you you could have any colour you like I'm just showing you a blue paper and a red paper uh, red paper and green paper or a blue piece of paper but big enough for you to fold it over and then we're going to trace your hand on the paper now so that's, you will need paper, you'll need a scissors and you will need either your crayons or coloured pencils or coloured pens for next week. So get them ready 
because we're going to make a very special card for Father's Day. And it's called I Love You This Much card. And make sure that you have enough paper, two different colours, red and green, or whatever colour you like, but two different coloured pieces of paper that are big enough, like an A4 size piece of paper. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, take care, children. Bye.